All right, Mark, we've got six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. In today's tier list, we are ranking Star Wars ships. Uh, we can kind of rank them however we feel, whether it's the usefulness, the look. I don't know. It'll probably be the look because, we're, I don't know, we're all about the drip. That's, so that's what it's probably going to be like so for me. So is this the drippiest ship tier list? Drippiest ship tier list. I think that sounds like a banger video so what okay we're we're fully putting it in on drip like this is the drippiest ships yes okay drippiest ships so there could definitely be a part two to this because <laughs> there i know for a fact there's some drippy ones i left out all right first one up we've got the classic imperial star destroyer i'm not gonna lie i don't think this is drippy no nah, we we say this all the time bigger fans of the venators so yeah for me this is a downgrade so I would say probably, and it's, I would say it might be a significant downgrade from the Venator. Yeah. So I'd probably lean towards the bottom half here, like D. D? Oh yeah, okay, Look no, we, bo we both said it. We gotta on put the, it in there. On the same wavelength right there. D for the Imperial Star Destroyer. I already know instantly we are getting torn to shreds. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, up next, got the X-Wing. I mean nothing <laughs> you mean, know I, I mean, how i feel about I mean, it actually like it's just like you know i mean it might be i don't know did it actually <laughs> now think about where we put that star destroyer dude i don't know so i'm thinking about like i think the y wing looks cooler i think the a wing looks cooler i mean the I don't know about the B wing, but <laughs> B B wing's F tier to me. Yeah. It's it's not. I can I will spoil it as it is not in this list, but it's F tier. Yeah, to that's me. what I was like. I think about I'm like ah, I don't think a B wing's look better than this actually, <laughs> but I I don't know. I'm still not that huge on this one. Never really have been. So I'm like again like I think I'm around that D ish range. I think. I'll put it in a D. <laughs> 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 play me all you want I, I, this is the way i feel i'm just gonna i'm just gonna move past it because i just know that like i don't know <laughs> all right the arc 170 i figured this was a good one to go with after the x-wing because it's kind of the, the predecessor uh i think it's better than the x-wing i agree i don't think it's that great though same here because <laughs> <laughs> so probably C. C. yeah I'm cool to see. <laughs> this is this is going a little bit easier at the moment <laughs> because we have some ugly ones. Up next, we've got the droid tri fighter. Okay, I, I like this one. I'm a big fan of now this. Now this is crazy. This is the first one where I'm gonna talk positively about it. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is definitely, and it's one of the cooler droid ones too. Maybe the coolest. Yeah, I think out of the droid ones maybe the only other one that gives it comp is the bomber probably is it like the vulture droid and the uh, no okay sorry not the i should have specified not the hyena bomber oh okay because the hyena bomber and the vulture droid i think just look a little too similar yeah i'm talking about the uh maybe it's maybe it's more of a transport you know like the like the one that looks like a frisbee Oh, okay. That one, that one's crazy too. Yeah, I think that one is is probably closer to this than the than the other two. This is at least A. That's what I was saying. It's minimum A. Yeah, it's minimum A. <laughs> I don't know how many S's we're gonna have. <laughs> Neither do I. I think we go A. Okay, I'm. Cool. Oh, should we go <laughs> S? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm going S. I'm just gonna decide. I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll go, go ahead. <laughs> I'll need to decide now. We're going S. <laughs> okay. Oh man. <laughs> Up next, we've got the resistance bomber. I'm be honest. I'm not really too big on this one either. Yeah, I like the concept of it, but in turn, like, yeah. I, like I like the concept of it, of them just like yeah. shooting the bomb straight down, and yeah. it's and it's like a tower, but the the. It's drippy as ships. We're not talking about practicality here or nothing. Yeah. It's talking about drip, and this doesn't really have that much drip, if I'm being honest. In, t in terms of just legit drip, is this F? Dude, it might be. It looks bad. I don't really like the look of it that much. 
I'll say F. Okay, I'm gonna go F too then. Okay. I, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know if there's many ships in Star Wars that I would put in F, outside of the B wing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but like, I just, its not on the same level as like the Star Destroyer and the X wing. It's mm -hmm. definitely not higher than those. I feel yeah. like it just has to go F. I would agree. Yeah. Okay. Up next, we've got the Tie Reaper. I'm a fan of this one as well. I'm a very big fan of this. One of the cooler. Uh, Imperial ones like this one and like the Defender mm -hmm. are probably well actually the Interceptor is cool too I yeah. guess but so like those three are kind of like my favorites out of them uh, the Imperial ones anyway but yeah this one cool it looks cool it's got the I like the color scheme on it I would and it's by far the most unique tie design unique. that's true yeah it stands out I put it A I was thinking A I wasn't even sure if you were gonna agree though I mean, I, I'll be honest, if you would have said S, I would have thought about it. <laughs> but I, I think A is more reasonable. Yeah, because S is like the Defender, and I think the Interceptor could probably slide up there too. Yeah. So this one's probably it. Okay, up next, we've got the Venator. The Superior. <laughs> the is it S, system. though? I don't know if I can give it that much of a jump, but... It's A for sure to me. I would say it's... Yeah. It's just like... I, the thing that does it is the bridge is so much better the than, the, than the, the Star Destroyer. The bridge is cooler. And I like how the middle like opens up. Yeah, the like hangar the red, in the, the, in the hanger, center. Yeah. yeah, and it's and you just launch from right there. Like, and that's sick too. Yeah, I'm so fine I'm cool with, with I'm fine with A. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's always been the bridge of this of the Star Destroyer that knocks it down for me and then the bridge of the venator that brings it up like it's such an exactly. improvement there yeah okay up next the y-wing now this one this one is the is the rebel one mm -hmm. which the republic one is just the same thing but bulkier like the rebel one is literally i would assume it's this the same exact ships but they're just ripped apart a little bit well yeah that's kind of what this it's like ripped apart right yeah like this rebel one so it's like so I, I would include both of them in this probably uh, yeah, in this yeah. discussion yeah but i've always been a big fan i've always liked the y wing i've yeah. always liked the way it looked you know honestly both ways like the rebel one i don't think it looks that bad to be honest even though it's like ripped apart and whatnot mm -hmm. and i still think it looks clean so i would probably probably gonna aim like b yeah i think b tier works i will say though I think purely off the design, I think it's interesting that they went with this to be a bomber. Yeah. Because I think this is like such a sleek design. It looks like more of a fighter. I, I would agree with that, honestly. That's that's true, actually. It's a weird choice. Um. Okay, so that goes in B. So now we, we officially have at least one in every tier. So this is pretty spread out. It's actually I, I pretty like how we're doing this, to be honest. Uh, up next... Got the N1. This is like, I've always been a big fan of this one, especially when like the ship is like super clean, which they, on, on Naboo they are. Yeah. So it's like you got the chrome and it's fairly shiny. Is it S? It's S for me. Okay. It's S for me. I was wondering if it was going to be that easy. For me, that's S. Like there's, yeah. Like that, that, this is, this is like the peak <laughs> of spaceship design to me. It looks so cool. It, it just looks so cool, dude. It really does. And it's it's looks so futuristic. Yeah. Which I think true. Naboo was was good at. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, S tier, pretty handily there. Easily. Up next, we've got Dooku's sail barge, or I said sail barge. I think it's Solar Sailor. Okay. I think is what it's called. I mean, it's unique, it's, it's a very interesting design, yeah. It's unique, I'll give them that. Am I a fan of it? Eh. I think it's... I would say it's better than the X-Wing. So you want C-tier is what you're trying to say? Let me look at the list again. <laughs> <laughs> really quick. Like, I don't know if it can go with the ARC-170. That's actually a good point now that I'm looking like, at it. It probably has to go B. I don't know. It, no, it probably has to go C, dude. I don't know I'm, if I can put it with the okay, Y-Wing. Yeah, I'm cool with C. 
If that's where I was originally, I'm not gonna double think. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I'm just gonna go with my mind. Yeah. My gut. It's I see. I will say I do really like the uniqueness of it. But it's unique. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm. Yeah. It, it's a lot less about the actual ship itself and more of the the big ass <laughs> sail in the front of it. So. Yeah. That is true. All right. Up next, we've got the LAAT gunship. I've always been a fan of this one. Like this is at least A for me. Probably even like you could probably lean S. I'm say I'm gonna say S. Well then I will agree with you. Okay. Because it's, I, like I said, this is always one of my favorites. Like every time like when I was a kid, I would always want like this gunship as like a toy or something. Like yeah. Play around with like it, it was always just a super cool ship. I've always been a big fan of this gunship. And I, I just said how the N1 is like peak spaceship design. Yeah. I think this is also this is up there with for it. a. How would you call it? It's, it's a, a gunship. Tra it's, a it's a transport. Yeah, for like a transport, like this is in Star Wars, like this is definitely peak design for sure. And it's and it's got like the real life aspect to it with like the ball turret. Oh yeah, sort, I forgot sort of about things, that one. Yeah. yeah. Which I think is pretty sick. <laughs> the only thing about these, which I think this is actually a thing in real life as well, early on, getting in the ball turrets, oh, it's... you, like, <laughs> you get in from there. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you want to get out, the ship's got to be landed. <laughs> like, yeah, no, you can't it's... just, like, get out and get into the ship. That's very... You're poor... stuck in there. Yeah, like, that's poorly designed, <laughs> for sure. Just like it was in real life. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, it's got to be S tier to me. I think it's just... It's such a classic ship. Uh, and speaking of classic ships, the last <laughs> one up here is the Millennium Falcon. I'm low on this. I'm low on a lot of original trilogy ships for some we, reason. We know you are. And this one, I'm definitely... Is that a shot at me? What, what was that? Well, we know you are. Because you know, like, if anybody's been watching long enough, we know that you like to take shots at the original trilogy. <laughs> okay, not the original trilogy as a whole, but... Certain aspects the, of the original the ships, trilogy. The ships, for a fact. Though. Certain aspects. Especially <clears throat> New Hope. Um, wow. Well, anyway. Wow. Wow. <laughs> You're gonna get me in more trouble with the comments <laughs> at this rate. I'm already gonna get torn to shreds over so much, but yeah, you're gonna get torn to shreds because you don't like the Millennium Falcon. Although to be fair, I'm not really, I'm not as low at it as you oh, are. Oh wow, I'm you're still... a hater too, dude. You're a hater too. <laughs> but I'm still pretty low on it. Like, I, <laughs> like if we're looking at what we have on the list right now, like this doesn't drip wise. It just to me, it just doesn't really compete that well. Yeah, no. Um, I go C. Honestly, I think it's pretty arc, mid. Yeah, but it's definitely mid. Look, like it definitely looks mid. Like, <laughs> yeah. There's no doubt about it. Like I, I mean, is it better than the X-wing? It mean, probably is. I would say, yeah, I would say it's but I don't. It's that X-wing is just not huge. If it was Poe's X-wing, it would probably be higher. Poe's X-wing that is black cool. X-wing. That thing is crazy. Yeah, the design on it's way better. It's just because it's like all black. That's why it's better. <laughs> we this all, is drip we, we all, that's it. That's just <laughs> drip 101 is th that something that's all black is going to be better than anything else. <laughs> like that's drip common sense. Listen, yeah, if you don't know that, you need to go back to, you need to take drip 101. And yeah, you got to go back to drip school. Yeah, drip school, drip what? Take drip 101 <laughs> and they'll tell you exactly that. That's the same exact statement. That's like the fundamental laws of <laughs> drip. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, we're putting the Millennium Falcon in C. <laughs> That's the tier list. I just realized we went 3 2 1, 3 2 1. That's actually kind of funny. I didn't even realize we did that. Um, no, I think this is pretty good. And this, yeah, like we it. set up for a part two pretty easily here because there's so many ships. There's way too many ships. And there's a lot of ones that are fire still that are left and a lot of ugly ones that are left so yes i'll very <laughs> uh very possible a lot but, of ugly ones hey all i gotta say is in the comments don't roast us too hard and if you don't think things that are all black are drippy go back to drip school and uh get your degree because you clearly failed drip 101 yeah like that's yeah, you, you got to take, take some more exams.
Get that grade up. So. I can never let my people down. Two days in the lab working.